with the highest inflation in 40 years, our finances are feeling tighter. No 40 years. doubt about yes. it. Yeah, experts say it's no time to panic, but time to be prepared. I actually spoke to the author of Crawl Before You Ball, Buffy Purcell, about the emotional ties to money and why it's so easy to rack up debt, which is a killer with higher interest rates. Why does spending or, or getting things seem to make us happy, at least temporarily? Well, you know, when you make that Amazon purchase and that package comes and you get to open it up and utilize it, you get a burst of serotonin or dopamine. It's like a drug, you know what I mean? It's akin to um, uh, being addicted to alcohol or being addicted to some sort of illicit drug. You get an immediate high and a rush. And right now, coming out of the pandemic, a lot of us are depressed and sad and we're chasing happy. You know, the world is a very uncertain place. And just like you said, inflation is at a 40 year high. People don't know what's going to happen. And so wherever possible, we're irrational and we're just going to try to get that happy wherever we can. We have to stop doing it. Yeah, she tells me we need to stop spending on wants instead of needs right now. So we're fully prepared should our economy enter a recession. So here's some simple first steps to getting your finances in order. Anybody that's in your pocket financially needs to sit down together, including your children. I don't care if they're three years old, because kids are the main ones that will jack up your budget. And everyone <laughs> needs to know these are the things that we have to work on. We're not going to be able to go on holiday twice this year or at all. We're not going to be able to eat out, you know, every other day. We're not going to be able to do this and that. But the goal is so that we're happy and financially solvent as a family. And we are going to budget for a trip or whatever it is. And I think that it's important to have short-term and long-term goals. If you have this big, huge, like we need to save $50,000, it seems like you never attain it. And so it's good to have a, we need to cut down this one credit card, this high interest credit card that may be $5,000 because it's easier to get that done. And then you feel happy when you achieve that goal. So as satisfying, Amy, as those $6 lattes at Starbucks may be, she also tells me it, it is those things that actually are the budget breakers. Mm -hmm. Death kind of by a thousand cuts, if you will. You know, but it doesn't sound like there's a lot of fun <laughs> built in. I these know, rules. I know. Well, here's, here's the advice okay. she had for that. Set some allowances for yourself, for your spouse, mm -hmm. for your kids, whatever. Some fun money. You can pay your credit card right off each month. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't have a problem with that if you do need to charge. But if you can't help yourself and you're just swiping like crazy to get that happy, Stick to cash. She says you'd be shocked at how much you'd save. You know, and I hadn't even thought of us trying to spend on that little bit of happy because th there has been so much bad news. That's right. That. Yeah. And, and we're all trying to do just anything we can within reason, you know, to feel better about us and our world. Don't make the know? mistake I did, which is have my cards saved in the computer. Oh. It's so easy to just say buy now. And the next thing you know, you spent $100 and you can't get it back. It's so easy. And don't take the kids <laughs> to the grocery. Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah.